this is some of the hot, juicy stuff. So shout out to Reddit. Let's face it, it wasn't for Reddit. I don't even know if GameStop would be around anymore, right? So it says, LCX CEO Monty Metzger interview at Hedera House. Hedera House. Listen to what he said, you know? And if anything, we are going to listen to some of what he said right now. Let's go ahead and kick it right into it. Here we go. Monty Metzger, CEO of LCX. You're here in Davos, Switzerland for World Economic Forum. Thanks for joining us on Blockchain Journal. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, Liechtenstein sounds like one of the few countries that has regulations in place. So you found a way to operate your company uh, using blockchain technology uh, in a way that complies with those regulations? That's right. We moved to Liechtenstein, particularly to found a company 2017 and then we incorporated 2018. And since then we acquired nine registrations according to the Blockchain Act in Liechtenstein, which is uh, like not only regulating one piece of the puzzle, but the whole value chain of blockchain and crypto. So there we are starting as a new, I would say next generation of crypto exchange and a new category leader for the future of blockchain finance. Okay, so uh, you're holding a book in your hand Right. And uh, I just want to let's show the book to the camera there. And uh, you are the author of this book. It's called Blockchain Banking. So what is this book about? So the blockchain banking is about the future of money and money and finance. So it's all about the balance between innovation, regulation and how our future of everyday lives will change due to digital money. But it's also covering the balance between the revolution, you know, the um, people who think money should be freed up from the state and on the other side we see development where central banks totally want to get control over every digital money with central bank digital currencies. So I'm explaining what um, kind of the key terms are but then also giving out seven leadership rules for every manager and CEO who are here at the World Economic Forum to understand what will be the, the, the future of digital money look like? So you mentioned central bank digital currencies, uh, also called CBDCs. Do you help any institutions or banks figure out their CBDC strategy? That's right. We had been a member at the World Economic Forum uh, for several years, and we also hosted workshops together with central banks. So one workshop was, for example, with 15 central banks. And I can tell you they all have deep, deep knowledge and understanding about what cryptocurrencies are, what blockchain is. And uh, over 100 central banks are currently experimenting or even launching, preparing to launch a central bank digital currency. So I have a good question. Why or, or to what extent do you think some of those central banks are willing to put some digital currency, a central uh, bank currency for some sovereign country on a public blockchain because most of what i've heard is if they're going to put it on a blockchain it's going to be private right that's a big discussion on which technology it will be based some are working with permission-based blockchains some are thinking about open blockchains as well and you also see you know talking about money it's ultimately talking about power sovereignty state um and the the, the power of a central bank and what we see in like open cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, for example, it is undermining these powers and there's um, kind of the war of, crypt of currencies being happening. Um, and what we can now see is that some central banks are stepping up the game earlier than others. We've seen China introducing a central bank Dutch currency early. There's Europe with the digital euro being planned, the digital dollar by the Fed uh, in the US so a lot of movement being there, and it's not a matter of if, but just a matter of when it will come out. Just a question of when. So pretty soon, our fiat uh, currency will be all digital, maybe some a lot less paper. In terms of uh, what LCX does, do you also help large enterprises with their plans to use blockchain as some sort of application platform? For example, customer engagement or uh, disruption within their industry? So for us, the key topic is how do we grow as LCX for this year? One of the key topics for us is tokenization. We launched a diamond platform for tokenization. 
We're launching a tokenized bond, so financial instrument, which will be tokenized. And we are, as a regulated platform, really trying to evolve the industry as a whole. Um, now with the, the book, Blockchain Banking, we are launching it at uh, the Davos event here at the World Economic Forum and really trying to get more interest of institution, letting them, getting them an understanding of what the future might hold. And there's a famous saying from Bill Gates who said, banking is needed, but banks are not. And that's where we stand. Pretty bold statement. Right. And that's, that's where we stand. It's a shift of power. A lot of banking services could be fully decentralized without any intermediaries. At the same time, we do see with the disaster of FTX, um, for example, that regulation is needed if human people are involved because fraud can happen. So that's why I truly believe in decentralized finance and how it could that evolve and merge for like the future of finance and, and crypto. Okay, well, uh, Monty Metzger, CEO of LCX, author of Blockchain Banking. All right. Uh, thank you very much. So that was just about five minutes. I mean, I know it's a little extended, but I mean, I wanted to hear the last bit that he was mentioning um, with, you know, with that particular gentleman there interviewing him at Davos. Let's go ahead and kick it back into the comments. Give me just a second to unsure this. There we go. Um, and then, you know, we'll have some other particular clips in the future with other people.